have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its dream that all men are created in Dr. King's dream has not yet been realized, nor will it be unless we have people like Al Sharpton who continue to hammer away at injustices. He, along with the National Action Network, have been laboring in the vineyards of the community for a very, very long time. The groundbreaking things that he's, he's doing is not for fame, is not for glory, it's for right. Robert Sharpton. I want to commend you for the National Action Network's commitment to fight injustice and inequality here in New York City and across America. As someone more eloquently than I said, uh, all, all you need to do for uh, evil to triumph is for good people to be silent. This is only the beginning. There's not going to be a next time because we're not going to let you get away with this. He's bringing up issues that other people are not talking about. When a National Action Network get involved in an issue, the likelihood that justice will prevail dramatically increases. Al Sharpton wants to take the streets back from gun-toting thugs who murdered innocent people this summer, including four-year-old Lloyd Morgan. Well, we are about people's rights to bear arms. Well, we are I'm not accepting this because I know it doesn't have to be like this, and I won't accept it. His decisions to champion social justice are not a function of geography, ethnicity, color, but are really a function of what I would call his moral standing as to how he views the world. And as we now see the maneuvers to undermine the Voting Rights Act, it started again in Florida. Mm. Yeah, which is why we're gearing up all over this state to protect the democratic process. Yeah. Our independence was declared a long time ago, and we're still trying to get it right. Voting rights is under assault. Literally five million people, according to the Brennan Institute, may be disenfranchised. The Reverend Al, this is just scandalous what is going on in Ohio. If we go the way we are today, 197,000 Ohioans will be refused the right to vote. I mean, how do we even think we can justify this? It is the height of hypocrisy. There is no justification for it. Because we've come such a long way, there might be a belief that we've arrived, and that's so far from the truth. There is an all-out assault on us, people of color, women, elderly community, the disabled community, if we allow our rights, our voting rights, to be taken away, the next thing will be another right, and we will continue to lose our rights until we have no rights. The pain cut too deep. We suffer too much to go part of the way on the journey. We cannot stop. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. While these truths may be self-evident, They've never been self-executing. You know, community can come together as a family and stand up for each other. Sometimes you don't realize what you have until it's time to use it. The voice for the voiceless. He has stood strong against the rage of hatred and bigotry. With over 60 chapters nationwide, a host of dedicated volunteers, and thousands of members who are spread out all across the nation, we work tirelessly to balance the scales of fairness and equality. If you do what civil rights groups like the National Action Network have always done, if you put your shoulder to the wheel of history, then we can move this country towards the promise of a better day. To lift up not only the African American community, but the broader American family. But we've still got more work to do. And so the mission has been successful, but it's still incomplete. Because until we can legitimately say that every single American has a fair shot at the American dream, then there's still tremendous work to be done. I truly understand now what Dr. King, Malcolm X, I mean, et cetera, et cetera, I know what they was fighting for. 150 years after the Emancipation Proclamation, we ask that where our paths 
seem blanketed by thrones of oppression, we ask for your guidance toward the light of deliverance. We're the children of dreamers that look biting dogs and fire hoses in the face and defy death, singing we shall overcome. The road is hard and it's long, but you know, we built for it. There's no limits for me. The sky is the limit. We're the children of the dreamers that saw us here when we couldn't see ourselves. We gonna march together because we just begun to fight. <laughs>